Welcome guys, welcome to this brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the custom artisan commands in Laravel. So uh, I have this project, it's a brand new project, so nothing, I, I did nothing in this currently. And I have it connected to the uh, database table. So we have a table uh, database named Sky and there we have the users table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a command and using that command, we are going to add a user in here. So to create a command in the Laravel, what we need to do, we need to simply go into the terminal and navigate to the directory of our for project. So I am using SAP right now, and in htdocs, I have this sky folder I, now where my Laravel files are present. So I already inside the sky folder, so I can run a command here. So what I say, I say php artisan make and we want to make a command, so we are going to say make command, and it's going to be create user account. And when you hit enter, it is going to generate a file for us. So if you go to the code editor, you can go under app, then console, then commands, and you will get a file with the same name, uh, the, the name you provided here. So we, uh, I said create user account, we got create user account.php. Now, if you open this file, we have a few options given to us. So the first one is signature. It is the command name, basically. So we want to create a user. So what do we need to do? We say here, create, and instead of name, I say user. So when we are going to check this into the uh, PHP artisan list command, so in terminal, we will see this command with this name. Now, in the description, we can type the description for this command. So we can write it here, uh, create a user account in users table in database. Okay, so this is the description for this particular command. And now when we scroll down, we have a handle function here. And this function is basically responsible for everything. So uh, we are going to create a user and we need to put the logic to uh, this function. So let's add logic. So what I do here is I'm going to define an array. So I say dollar new uh, user, and this array I'm going to pass some values. So first going to be name, and I want to set it to uh, my name. So I put Manu, then comma, and then I put here email and uh, any email. So I just pass here Manu at Stocks.biz, comma. Now we need to pass the password for it, this account. So password and password going to be uh, encrypted. So we use here B, decrypt. Okay, this is a function. And we are going to pass here secret. So that's going to be the password. So uh, if you want to pass the role, you can pass the role as well. So, uh, but we don't need to currently any role or anything. So, uh, or let's pass a role for admin. So I say role, uh, let's say admin. Okay, so these are the parameters we require, a semicolon here. So we need to check that and we need to display because once you run the command, it should give us some output uh, if it is successful. So what are we going to do? We are going to say here, a user. Now this is a user model. So we need to include it on the top. So on the page of top here, we need to say use app and uh, backslash user. Okay. If you don't add this, it's going to give us the adder because uh, when it is going to add the user, it needs the user model. So here we need to say create and create. We are going to pass this variable, the values we have in so we pass here and here we're going to put it into a variable let's say user and I say if user then display something so we say here if dollar user we want to echo a message simply so message going to be new user created successfully Uh, you can add the name new user menu created successfully semicolon at the end. So once you have the logic set up and your function is ready, 
you need to do one more thing. We need to register this command because without registering this command, it's not going to work. We register our commands in kernel. So it is in the same directory. You, you go to app, console. Instead of going inside command, we have kernel outside of it. So open this file and you will see here uh, a commands array. So we need to add here our particular command that we just created. So we say commands and uh, inside the commands, uh, if you go there, we can simply copy the name of the file. Basically, we need the class name here. So I'm going to put that and it's going to be class. Okay, so that's how we do it. It's an array, so we need to put comma instead of semicolon. So it should be working now. So we have our command set up here and we have our logic set up here and we have description as well as signature. So if I go to the sky here, we can check. So we can say PHP artisan uh, list. So when I do the list, it is going to show us all the commands available. So our command, the one that we created, it's here. You can see that create user, create a user account and user table. So it's showing us the description as well. So let's run this command. So uh, PHP artisan create and user. Okay, so we have a new user money created successfully. So that is something that we just echoed out here. So that message we are getting on the terminal. Now, if I go to the database and refresh, we have the user here. So it just created the key uh, using our command. So this is how you use the Laravel commands. And uh, I also have an article on it, so you can read it uh, if you want any further uh, code or anything you want to check. You can check here. The link is in the description as well. So uh, hope you like it. Do leave comment and like the video. And have a nice day. Goodbye.